I'll be doing an excerpt from Garth Stein's, Garth Stein's 2009 novel, The Art of Racing in the Rain. I watch too much TV. They talk a lot about Darwin. Pretty much every educational channel has some kind of show about evolution at some point. And it's usually really well thought out and researched. The scientific theorists go on and on about how monkeys are the closest relative to people. But that's speculation. I'll give you a theory. Man's closest relative is not the chimpanzee, as the TV people say. But it is, in fact, the dog. Witness my logic. Case in point number one. The dew claw. It is my opinion that the so-called dew claw, which is often snipped off a dog's foreleg at an early age, is actually evidence of a pre-emergent thumb. Further, I believe that men have systematically bred the, the thumb out of certain lines of dog through a process called selective breeding, simply in order to prevent dogs from evolving into dexterous and therefore dangerous mammals. I also believe that man's continued domestication, if you choose to use that silly euphemism, of dogs is motivated by fear. Fear that dogs left to evolve on their own would in fact develop thumbs and smaller tongues, therefore making them more superior to men. They're large and cumbersome standing as they do. This is why dogs must live under the constant supervision of people and are immediately put to death by the team when they are found living on their own. From what Denny has told me about the government in the town of Orleans, it is my belief that this despicable plan was hatched in the back office of none other than our White House probably by an evil advisor to the president of Washington Memorial and Angeville and works, and probably with the correct assessment, unfortunately made under the person position of paranoia rather than of spiritual insight, that all dogs are progressively inclined regarding social issues. Case in point number two, the werewolf. The full moon rises. Fog clings to the lowest branches of the spruce trees. A man steps out of the darkest corner in the forest and turns into a monkey. I think not. Okay, Haley, how do I do for you? Different than a speech? Different than a speech. Um, definitely should have focused on memorization. I feel like a little bit more than I did for my speeches because for my speeches I do kind of focus on the topics. Okay. Um, so for this one I get nervous, so I was glancing down at it a lot. Um, and I messed up a few words, which just a matter of choice um, based on how I would write. Okay. I feel like I tried to make up with that with some of the rest of them when I was walking. Um, I know I have good volume because I'm kind of speaking into the mic and yelling, but those are my dogs and they're new and they can tell. Um, in the beginning, I was very fast. No, oh, I'm talking about uh, talking about the TV people, um, and then you know making this argument that the dogs are. Okay. All right, um, audience, if you could uh, please make sure that somebody's writing things down too. Also, I don't know. I think the camera's um, still off. I think you definitely like improved your nerves, and I don't know if that was because this was like a different type of speech, but you seem like a lot more prepared and. Like in your past speeches, you've been like you seem extremely nervous, and you didn't seem like 